Hey guys, it is the WWE Raw wrap up, part of the Wrestling Mayhem show. It's the road to WrestleMania 500. Guys, I'm back. I guess I haven't done this for a few weeks for one reason or another, but I'm so glad to be here on the blab that I am here uh, just minutes, minutes after Raw, 1122 here on the East Coast. Uh, and we just saw, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mick Foley, your new heavyweight champion. Wait, that's wait, that's 1998, right? Right? 99, plus yeah. That's that's this year, right? That's what's happening. It happened in '87, Sork. Uh, but anyways, Roman Reigns gets the championship uh, tonight against all odds. Vince McMahon gets it on the chin, and uh, and 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 there you go. There you have it. Uh, so uh, I, you know, again, I think a very. Uh, I think we've seen this in the last couple couple weeks you know things are going to change here on raw and i thought we had a very again a 90s raw you know uh very much so and, and i know one of you guys in the hangout had a very interesting comment and i didn't realize this till he said it at the end uh about how that's the very arena where he won the royal rumble and got booed out of the building in comparison to very mm-hmm. much the crowd was with him tonight and at the end of last night uh which we'll talk touch more on tlc maybe tomorrow uh on wrestling mayhem show 500 but um what do you think worked i know Eamon, you were kind of pontificating about this a little bit in the hangout well i was curious i mean i was honestly curious because to me at least i mean i liked tonight i thought tonight was good but i don't see anything specific that changed in roman reigns like, like, yeah, he had a really great match, and he was aggressive in the match and all that stuff, but he, you know, earlier he was still cutting promos about how Vince McMahon had prunes instead of grapes and stuff like, like that. Grapefruits. Or grapefruits, whatever. No, he said fruits. Fruits. Well, I mean, is it so much his performance or the situations he's put in? I mean, how much I have think- we talked about, you know, the, you know, how much of it is the person – executing and how much of it is the writers and sometimes you can't beat the one for the other i'm, I'm glad you I'm, I'm glad you brought that up sore because i was going to mention that he's not changing a damn thing it's the situation around him that's changing mm-hmm. like he's always been that weird strong guy own like i think we called him the road dog of of the shield at one point because he <laughs> he kept he kept the same music he kept the same clothes and he kept being like beating people up. Oh, you, you but, didn't. Know? Hmm? Oh, you didn't know. Yeah. Um, but now it seems like the purpose of him doing that has changed, even though he himself has not changed the way. Like like with Dean Ambrose, he changed. With Seth Rollins, he changed a lot. Mm-hmm. But with Roman Reigns, he just stayed exactly the same, and things somehow worked out for him. Yeah. I, I, I just, and it, like I said again, I'm really, I, I like tonight. Uh, I just felt like, like, especially for the people that were, are so critical on, on Roman and stuff like that, like, like tonight was the biggest, like, make Roman Reigns look strong. Mm-hmm. thing you know he kicked out of how many bro kicks and and and, and i hate that that's a older oh, make him look strong it's like that's what they're supposed that's, to yeah. do well, that was, i don't know i'm just saying that was the talking point from people yeah yeah this time. i mean that's how they that's how the faces are supposed to look mm-hmm. the strong faces are supposed to look strong yeah at the we'll, we'll means... get in we'll get into what well, i know exactly where you're going with that well, one. well i was i was that's for later but i was gonna yeah. say uh, in, in contrast to how good tonight was, and I said it when the match was made, Sheamus looks really stupid right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. Uh, yeah. I, I, maybe it was from that point of view. Maybe because Sheamus wasn't, you know, I, maybe Sheamus was the worst of two evils, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but, hey, yeah. Uh, Seamus was the bridge. Seamus was stretching uh, a situation out for another month. Um, mm-hmm. You know, whatever what the original plan was, who knows? You know, I, but uh, I, I think uh, Seamus Seamus did his job, and he did his job well uh, mm-hmm. for the, for that time. Uh, this 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 faction that formed, I think, is very interesting, and I hope stays uh, in the kind of conversation with Roman here for a bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, yeah, go ahead, Bobby. Uh, where's Wade Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, apparently he had some issues with his cable provider and U- getting USA Network in tonight, as opposed to the network last night. Um, but uh, but uh, no, uh, yeah, I'm with you. Why is Wade Barrett completely getting crapped on in this entire situation? No, he's not even there to be crapped on. Yeah, exactly. He's it's like nowhere. He, he but he was there in a, in a pre-show oh, promo at yeah. TLC. Like and they showed crap. the four of them. And then nothing on the actual show. I, I'm sure he's he'll be on SmackDown. Do <laughs> yeah. not worry, Bobby. Or superstars. He'll Bobby. face Cesaro in a squash match. They League of Nations. Uh, like he, Cesaro everywhere. He yeah. he's he's uh he's the League of Nations Virgil at this point. Kind of. Oh. He's, he's basically NWO B team. Mm. Yeah, he is. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Why did what? When did Barrett become the NWO black and white of the League of Nations? Wait, when, that's a whole two weeks old. Wait, does does that make the New Day Disco Inferno? Oh, mm. hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. The New yeah. Day, uh, yeah, not day. technically, not technically in the group. Yeah, I want to hang with you guys. Hung out so with them cool. and, and I danced. Like- and I like the dance. I, you know, yeah, okay, all right, I can do that. I just, I just blew your mind, didn't I, Sorg? Can, can we talk about how the new day are kind of faces now? <laughs> oh, no, no, faces. no, no. I'm, I no, 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 no. But, but, yeah. Oh, well, they're freaking over. Yeah, they are. They got the the Usos and the Lucha Dragons got booed for attacking them. That was amazing. Um, I, I don't know what that's going to turn into. I, I honestly, I think I think New Day just continues being New Day. If New Day tries to face up in the in this situation, they're and done try, and and become anything different, then they won't be the New Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but apparently that's what you have to be because they 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 kept being the New Day even though they were being to see her, and apparently that deserved them getting beaten up. I don't know, uh, but hey. But anyways, uh, okay, let's go from there to the ladies at this point. Um, but uh, so we, we we continued. We only had one ladies match, which makes me sad. Okay, I don't. I, I I don't. It I wasn't think, sad because all of the divas were in that match. I wonder. That is true. I, I mean, everybody was involved. I would prefer a better story as opposed to more matches and more time. You know. Right. Right. Exactly. I, I, I'm with you on that. Uh, but uh, I think it was fine for what it is. We'll see where it goes. Hopefully get back to form next week. I think we had a good showing with uh, Sasha and Becky on the pre-show last night. I think it really set the tone for the night, uh, But uh, which I thought was a, uh, generally a very good night at TLC. But again, that's another discussion. Uh, but that was fine. We had a big extreme moment in Philadelphia. I thought that was a really, really great, really great. Um, um, and, and obviously... I, I think we're. I think for those having that argument, uh, Wyatt's are getting their wins mm-hmm. uh, at the expense of, and, and and even ECW guys don't need to win to be a part of this. Well, that's yeah. the thing. They're they're yeah. they're this. They're longstanding guys that, like you said, don't have to win. No, exactly. But, no. It, but I, you know. But here's the thing. Here, here's here's where I'm actually going to sound a little weird because of what I just said a little bit ago. Uh, the Wyatt's won. Now what? Yeah. Like, like they 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 could just keep facing uh, EV two point until somebody can't move anymore. Which Tommy Dreamer, which Tommy Dreamer, <laughs> and that was Rhino. that was actually scary. Um, mm-hmm. but what what do you do with them now? Do you put them in a tag match, give them the tag belts, and start building up a title? plethora of talent i uh, think they, they could start destroying just more people they could start they <clears throat> could start destroying like the ascension uh primetime the players ascension. they could start running through people at that the point. ascension are already dead so we're yeah, it's not like... only dead to us cry back kill both of them on smackdown yes uh, i was gonna say vince mcmahon already took out our truth and bo dallas so hey <laughs> in their soul uh but yeah i mean it, it's uh, no, I, I think we'll see. I, I I can't see them continuing with the ECW guys. I think they they're the I think the I think this was the main event of, of that run for all those guys as as that whole at this point. Um, then, then what do you why do? Why have there? that match now and not at TLC or the paper or the Royal Rumble? Well, they had that match. They had that match at TLC. Well, uh, they and, and then, that, they that's had a good. It. 
I was going to say, not to get too much into TLC, but this match was a million times better yeah, than TLC. Yeah, right. And, 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 and the same thing with the title match. It was one of those, like, yeah, we're kind of more concerned with having a great Raw and getting those ratings up and having that thing in with them in Philadelphia. The main event mm-hmm. for that feud was Philadelphia, not TLC. That is true. Yeah, because no, it's Philadelphia. It. It's This is not... This is not, I have to do it for the pay per view thinking. Remember, we're going yeah. TV week to week. You, you can't go by the old standbys here. And I think, uh, I, you know, yeah, this, this, should, this should be the ender. If you beat them on their home turf. I cannot see them going uh, further from here. I'd be surprised if they did. Uh, they could, who knows? Uh, but uh, I think mostly you're, you're kind of done with that after this. And I think it was a great thing. I, I think I enjoyed the match tonight. I even enjoyed the match last night. Um, but definitely, I agree with you. Tonight Tonight was better because it was it was Philadelphia. The, the, the feel was there. Everybody was on, and everybody was over the top with it. This is what you need for Wyatt to become monsters. And and I can see the Wyatt's, you know, keep being monsters through WrestleMania to for whoever needs to take out the Wyatt's, right? Mm-hmm. This is what you do. They're, they're in Rusev mode right now. Plus, Eric Rowan got the pin, too, tonight, which mm-hmm. for him, he needed that after Blue. Right, cause, yeah, he was the guy that got eliminated. So, so you, you got him back. If you want to get into psychology of, of, the, of the book booking of that, because, you know, we're all guys that book wrestling fans and know what that's about. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but uh, I don't know. All of us want to be our chair buckers, and, and, and it's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, you know. But it's like, oh, really, just sit back and enjoy it. It was, it was just it was a couple of really good matches and great to see those guys going. Mm-hmm. So. Um, from there, uh, what else happened on Dean Ambrose and, and, and Dolph Ziggler seemed kind of a random pick. Not that I hate the pairing. Yeah. I mean, it seems, you know, they'll do a three way feud with Owens and, and I mean, not we good, obviously, but yeah. And I like Owens promo. I thought it, I, oh, that was great. Yeah. Um, you know, I like Kevin Owens. I think he's, you know, really developed into one of the guys that could be like a, top level guy you know i made the comment i really hope that uh one of the feud goes on after last night which obviously is probably going to and i really want dean ambrose to be like just completely mr perfect this and i don't know what i mean other than having a great run that makes the intercontinental title i i I don't know if do you want you want dean ambrose for the intercontinental championship as john cena was for the united states championship yes Mm -hmm. There yes, is. completely, completely, and it sounds like they're doing that when he's like, "I want to defend this everywhere." So, did you um, promo from what, for the the uh, internet video. I did not know. Talking about like uh, Macho Man Randy Savage and uh, all the the past Intercontinental titles, how he looked up to them when he was a kid. He had right. the figures and all that stuff, and he's like, "They they wouldn't turn tail like Kevin Owens did every time he had the championship." And I thought it was pretty a, a really good promo if you go back and watch it. I want to roll back uh, for a moment, Mainstream Matt, in the chat room here. Uh, just build a Bray for a big rumble. You know, even for 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 Bray, I, you know, remember all these years where we've had like those moments in the rumbles where a faction want to get together, like Nexus when Punk was in charge, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, I think you'll see a big uh, house cleaning at the rumble. Some some big guy, maybe Ryback or somebody, will clean them out after that. Uh, but just that they're a threat into the rumble. Uh, I think would be really, really kind of cool. Hey, maybe they push. Maybe, maybe this is you know, maybe maybe Bray's the guy they're looking at for for maybe Roman or something for main event of WrestleMania. You know, because we're we're questioning last week on the show. Yeah, I could see them uh, uh, pushing the Wyatt family gets Bray to that top spot, and maybe we build from there. I mean, they had a pretty extensive feud over the summer or late summer, I guess. So that could continue into Rumble. I don't know. I, I you know, I can, see it. Yeah. I, can, I can see it. I don't know if that's like your big ticket. Holy crap! That'll but do that. I but can also, I can also see uh, rain. I, I don't. I, I can also see Bray winning Money in the Bank even more than I see him winning the Rumble. Yeah, but again, that's not till summer. Yeah, it could be. It could be. And again, with the help of the Wyatts, he's not yeah. going to be a solo act in any. Yeah, any like, like, that's the thing. I I think he would be more accompanied by the briefcase right. than an actual shot at the Titan at the title because he's Bray Wyatt leader of the Wyatt family right. so this is going to be a long six weeks <laughs> oh, wow. 
There we go. Um, and finally, no, I think that's it. I think that's, that's all I wanted to touch on. That's nothing, anything that's sticking out. We had Vince. I think it was great to see Vince tonight in uh, in, in his old form. Um, and, and again, we haven't seen him since that SummerSlam, like two SummerSlams ago, I think we were. And I was just uh, actually, uh, what, or no, was that last SummerSlam? Or whatever one had Daniel, Daniel Bryan. And it was last year, actually, because I was listening to the wrestling, uh, the, the Christmas episode, and we were just talking about how he kind of got written off TV uh, a little mm-hmm. bit um, quietly, I guess. But, um, but no, I, I was, oh, go ahead, Bobby. About the beginning of Raw, how it almost turned into uh, a fan fiction for. <laughs> Oh, no, that wasn't the first. That wasn't the first hour. Oh, that, was, that was the second hour. That's yeah. Right. That was the that was beginning the of the second hour. hour. Um, Fifty Shades of Raw, as I like to call it. <laughs> hey, explain yourself real quick, and we'll get out of here. Um, just like Vince McMahon saying, "Come in and, and take your medicine," and uh, taking his jacket off at one point, and uh, basically, yeah. That, and then Seamus came out. Get on your knees and apologize. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you like, take you know, you know if you if you just take. Hey, Somebody, you know, we should just take somebody find a transcript of that section of Raw and we'll do a live reading at some point, just in different context. <laughs> also, also, Matt says there's no defense when Steph starts slapping you. One more thing. <laughs> yes. That was amazing. Guys, it's the Road to Wrestling Mayhem Show 500. We're going to be doing that live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we're going to be packing a lot of people in the studio. I got the banner set up over there. We, we've got some new backdrops, and uh, I don't even know if I have enough microphones to pull this off. Oh, this but it's so it's much fun, big Sorg. 500 on the eve, a couple of weeks away from our 10 year anniversary. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a Christmas episode, it's the last episode of the year. Of the Wrestling Mayhem show. I drink. You sword drinks. I do all the tech here. I do the live switching. I, I hit record and I drink. I have been there twice. Or no, twice no, three times. All Christmas shows. And Sorg all all Sorg does at the end of the show is just sit there quietly. <laughs> is that what I do? Like, 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 <laughs> like, like, you just have the blankest stare. I, I wish I, I I should take a picture next time tomorrow when I'm there. Cause I remember the first time I was there, you were you were just sitting there sitting there looking at the at the board, looking at the TVs and everything else there in a blank stare. It's a strange it's- solace because I'm done for the year. I just got through all that whatever the hell we just did. I'm not going to go edit the shows uh, because you don't, I, need, I, I, you don't I, need to edit the shows. You have, to, you have to wait because I'm not going to edit the shows night of because I'm drunk. Uh, so those will come up in the morning, but you know, still, you know, usually by lunch. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's 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 an experience. Uh, also, sorry, sorry. I like how at the beginning of the show I was trying to make sure you you uh, to get you a little bit. Uh, I, I love how you said the WrestleMania 500. Sure. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. yeah this you, has been your raw yeah. wrap up wrestling mayhem show.com at the E Riz and Riz plays games on Twitter. Check out his stuff and insert coin to begin.com at Bobby F J town. Also host a bo- uh, boss battle and insert coin to begin.com. The voice of inspire pro wrestling aim and pain at aim and to please join us from San Antonio, Texas. The rest of us from the greater Pittsburgh area, more or less. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.